Let it be a blessed time that everybody changes their fate. Let's repeat after me. Surely you'll do well. You will prosper. The demon inside you will probably say, let's see if you will prosper. The Almighty, he won't be weaker than the demons. No matter what religion. Isaiah 43, verse 13. What you do it on your own, no matter what religion, uh, they have no power against what God does. No matter what religion, no matter what principles or philosophy or teachings cannot win over what God does it's what God has said so even so Psalms 97 verse 9 then we the Lord Jehovah God he's the highest of all spirits which religion can even match up or even think to match up why are we talking about other religions why because you're so wayward um, so off that's why God t told us this the words he told us this early morning to each of you all sorts of problems being resolved through money through that money the money without worries Proverbs 10.22 the money that where the worries have taken have been taken off it's blessings that lead to heaven no matter how much you receive it uh, you have no worries otherwise you're hellward bound if you have not received that kind of material wealth without worries Deuteronomy 30 verse 15 the blessings of going to heaven and wealth are together. Uh, God has said it in his words. So the fact that you're here, whether you're old or young or adults or older or young, male or female, educated or not, you'll do well, really well, even now. The, the blessings of going to heaven. This is the, uh, the sun and the, the, the moon in the night, the full moon. He is using a reference through love through love <clears throat> the love of your head knowledge is the dogs and pigs the level of dogs and pigs of wickedness evil what you do with your IQ of your mind what you do with human ways it's all demonic and e wicked but love of your heart is the pr love of proper human being James 3 15 16 the, what you love with your head knowledge is the level of dog and pig the love of demo demonic love demonic uh, love of wickedness what you love uh, what you learned with your head knowledge is demonic James three fifteen sixteen. 16 that's recorded there the love of a proper human being is the love from your heart the man cannot have it when we love God with all of our heart with all of our life we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit that we, re we receive the gift of love from God the love that comes forth from our hearts that all sorts of problems get resolved all your financial worries get resolved and also when that get resolved problems with your children that's tormenting the demons tormenting your family all your material wealth issues all your health issues all get re resolved you're here to receive that blessing what a great promise this is each of you you and me God the fact that he gave us problems so that we can quickly receive the blessings that's be set before us material blessings before us and go to heaven that we can quickly immediately live with uh, contributing to our society also living with love between our uh, children and in our family do you say amen then you would just love God then you go to heaven you receive wealth as a blessings and it'll be overflowing with wealth as a blessing you will receive that because of money while you're living on this earth what's related to money those people who suffer from that it's uh, at least 10,000 or all sorts of issues because of money those who love money they're wicked and evil and e the evil is the love of money is the root of all sorts of evil all sorts is in Korean said 10,000 we don't love nature or money we rule over it it's something to rule over not to love God says he'll give it to us it's set before us but we're not able to take it because we love money we're ruled by it not ruling over it and nature we're, it, we love it instead of being ruled, uh, ruling over it we are ruled by it there's only one love towards God when we do that then we change our fate so when we love God so even though it's hundreds of thousands of dollars so or hundreds of millions of dollars we so the most expensive clothes in Busan when I was a late person our pastor my pastor and me we we wore that clothes and it was thousands of dollars so uh, I, they were unloading I was unload uh, they, I saw people unloading um, unloading rocks and stuff like that so I just w didn't take my clothes off and help them unload and uh, I you know we take our clothes off first I didn't do that. that that's why I received all sorts of incredible blessings uh, today was possible 
but we do the priority is wrong we think that uh, expensive clothes we have to take it off first instead of helping them God wants us to take the blessings of this world but we our priorities are wrong God wants us to have healing of disease hour but we do things backwards that's why we're not able to receive that blessings we're doing the deeds of falling into ruins our priorities are all wrong how are you going to live how is it that you are, you are living God he's telling us this early morning if we love him Proverbs 8.21 let's look that up what we love with our head knowledge you'll take, he'll take away the blessings he has in store for us what we love with our heart then we receive all sorts of blessings we didn't even imagine or think because he'll set it before us we just have to take the blessings those who are foolish they take the cow and say take this cow with you they want, it, they want to lift that cow and they won't be able to take it all their whole life they'll starve to death but a three year old take the cow just takes the rope and walks it to his house and the cows come uh, follows follows the, the, the boy that's how you should live God wants us to live without difficulty without worries and anxieties this is in God's gospel the 66 books of the Bible that's the promise there why is it that things aren't working out for you because your head knowledge what, that has demon inside has this and that thoughts has all sorts of thoughts that's why Second Corinthians 13.5 God is telling us test whether you're in the faith or not if you want to test whether you're in the faith or not you don't know how to test yourself whether you're in the, you're in the faith or not this is how I think you may th think that means that you're, you have demon inside you don't have any faith you have demon inside and all your thoughts are demonic so have demon inside that's, you're verifying that you have demon inside when you think oh I, let me think about that. that that's saying I'm a demon it's the same thing test whether you are in the faith or whether you have demon inside Second Corinthians 13.5 so you and me we fall and things aren't working out and we don't have realization of that we don't realize that that we've already fallen we say something normally fine but and yet you say oh, this, is, this is what I think this is how I know it that's 100% uh, demonic Second Corinthians uh, 10 verse 5 and 6 not what I'm saying but it's what God is saying God is telling us this Pastor Park when I share that sermon then you should stand up and leave if I'm going to uh, share a sermon on my own if it's fake those with demon inside how can they stand in front saying they're a pastor if the pastor in front are not in Christ and they have demon inside they don't have God's, the mystery of God Matthew 14 15 they're deceiving all the souls to hell Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 100% they'll be hellward bound test whether you're in the faith or not God's word says this now Let's read with one voice. Proverbs 8.21 The fear of the Lord no, the, to endow those who love me with wealth that I may fill their treasuries. Amen. Each of you. God's love. If you love God with your heart the love the blessings that God gives with um, a pickup truck four to six pickup trucks full of money take it God will give it to us we make it on our own those who write autobiographies, autobiographies in the world sometimes they're out of their mind those who write their autobiographies what's the result? Jeremiah 12, 13 they'll fall into ruins in a really bad way their children to the third and fourth generation will really fall into ruins when you go to their home, hometown those who write autobiographies oh they were so bold but uh, they did well but their next generation I don't know what happened to them it did, they did so badly oh in Busan in Seoul in Tegu in the United States those who wrote autobiographies you thought that they're doing well but the end result is not good for the family it's very pitiful for the rest of their family why is it like that? for their descendants it's because it's written like that in the word of God what did they not do? you and me the way for us to be a proper human being we have to know Jehovah but we didn't know him that's why if we don't know Jehovah God those who write autobiographies will end in a pitiful state those who got uh, in high places with uh, their connections they'll end in a bad way God says don't live that way what he what he gives us by us loving him receive that and without worries and anxieties give it to your uh, give it to your descendants Proverbs 19.4 it's just written there so that we can keep it and give it on to our descendants God he's such a wonderful God he's such a great God so each of you test whether you're in the faith or not what's it saying test whether you're a proper human being or not that's what it's saying if we just love God he will give us wealth where he'll fill our treasuries six pickups worth a uh, truck full's worth Luke 6.38 so that he will give to us so that nobody else can take it he will give to us that's how we should live oh if I have a lot of money I have a lot of worries you may say 
Hey, each of you, those with demon inside, you have worries. I mean, Proverbs ten twenty two. What demons receive, it's full of wor the blessings of money is full of worries. But what God gives, there's no worries. Those with fakes, they have worries. Even they have money or they don't have money. According to your worries, you'll fall into ruins. Now, each of you, in the early morning, if we just love God, God says He'll give us wealth abundant. Why do we need that money? Because all sorts of problems get resolved with money. First Timothy chapter six verse ten. So each of you, you're here, but y even though I don't consult you, but usually the problems that you have, you, the biggest ones is sins of morality and problems with money. It's uh, all sorts of problems is uh, are resolved with money. God says if we just love Him, He'll fill our treasuries with money. Not that He will, we will fill it ourselves. We can't take it, but with a bongo car as a pickup truck. So they the thief if you if you try to take the the pickup truck into your into your condo you can't take it that's not how he will give it to us but so that nobody would know inside your master bedroom bigger than your treasury he'll fill us with wealth with money fill our father he will bring it to us to take store it for us we just have to look at it and spend it receiving that blessings that's the blessings going to heaven Deuteronomy 30 verse 15 so receiving that blessings God commanded to us to each person Ecclesiastes 3 11 God gives the, gave the heart to receive that blessings we came here to church with, with that heart to receive that blessings the church is a place where we give worship to God with, with love in our heart instead of giving worship service uh, instead of giving uh, instead of worshiping demons 2 Corinthians 10 20 let's look that up pastor there are pastors here there are our pastor has so many theological degrees if you don't do God's mystery you're still Howard Bound however if you don't do God's mystery and yet people don't realize this and they say they're claiming all sorts of degrees our elder out of our church he lived a life of faith for 80 years he's probably even greater than that because he went to some church which which church did he go to he never heard of or saw where they're preaching that God will give wealth overflowing but for us it will work and it will work for each of you as well 1 Corinthians 10.20 who's the one that gives worship service to demons but I say no but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to demons and not to God and I do not want you to become sharers in demons Amen who gives worship service to demons and before demons the Gentiles the Gentiles give worship service to who? To demons, it says. They'll be, they give sa worship service and sacrifice to demons. Who are the, the Gentiles? Those who don't do God's mystery. For they're all Gentiles. Ephesians 2, 11, 12. They don't do God's mystery. Force their repentance. Then they're all demons. They're all Gentiles and shares with demons. That's why Ephesians 2, 11 and 12, the 66 books of the Bible, they have nothing to do with the 66 books of the Bible. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and whether it's a pastor or a theologian, Christ, God's mystery, forced our repentance. Those who don't do that, they have nothing to do with, with Christ, with, with God. They are, are, they're the ones that are giving worship service to demons. Your past, how was it? How was your life in the past? How was your life? Did, did you give worship service that God will say yes I accept it or did they give worship service to demons please repent where there's where they're worshiping demons how much they tormented God repent that you have tormented God Be, based on the price of your sins consequence of your sins according to how much you ignored him you fall into ruins that's Proverbs thirteen thirteen. according to that you'll fall into ruins so if that's the case each of you we don't have time so let's go there directly so here today, Psalms 19 verse 7, let's look that up. Psalms 19 7, we have to do, we have to do this for us to ha truly have loved God, to truly love God, for our spirit to be made alive, for us to love God, for us to go to heaven. We receive wealth, un infinite, limitless. God will give it to our, uh, take it to our house and have it ready for us. Each of you, faith is a gift from God. What the faith that you try to have on your own that's the faith of demons the faith that God gives to us is the faith that leads to heaven the, the faith that God gives to us as a gift so you try to have faith on your own does that work and then people say hey let's, let's have faith we must have faith that's the scenario of demons that's 
You can't have faith on your own, no matter how much you try. Ephesians 2 8, God says, he, We can only receive the faith that God gives to us. And how arrogantly can we say that we can have faith on our own? That's why John 1 12, we shared that in the revival uh, retreat. Those who accept Him, those who believe in Him, those, they're the ones that are children of God. Those who, those who, uh, God, Holy Spirit, I'll accept you. Come. No, you're out of your mind. No matter how much you try, it won't work. No. Through God's mystery, force of repentance, when we do that, with, with the Gentiles and demons, where they, where they're giving worship service, you should separate yourself from that and come out from, from them. That's when uh, He accepts us and has, has us as His children and He blesses us. That's uh, 2 Corinthians 6, 17, 18. You try to accept God on your own? You try to have faith of God to God on your own? No, you, earlier I said I uh, said something slightly wrong off about having faith, but it's a faith that God gives to us. We're not able to discern the true from the fake Christians. From the, during this revival, we talked about one heart, one way. We shared that. When we do one heart, one way, you'll have wealth overflowing, money overflowing. You'll just go to heaven. John 5:24. Who's the one that judges? The Lord judges. God's mystery. Christ, forced that repentance, judges us through forced that repentance if we're living in Him. When you buy uh, eggs, do you buy just the shell? The inside as well, not just the shell. It's, I, didn't, you didn't, I didn't say to buy the inside of the eggs as well, but why did you buy the inside as well? So the egg is what's inside and the shell just protects it those who are not able to discern they only buy the shell No, you live a life of faith test whether you're in the faith or not that's, that's what it's saying uh, we're going to share this incredible things in a short period of time so it might be a little challenging but almighty God if he uses my lips in the short period of time you become a person you'll receive the miracles of salvation the miracles will happen this hour we're here to receive that blessing and we're here to receive things going well for us how precious this is if God allows it he will make that happen this hour in this short period of time you think all people are people that's not the case if you have the heart of a proper human being the word of God if you have the word of God and if you accept the word of God in your heart then that's having faith if you, if you take the word of God into your head knowledge not to your heart then you're a crazy person that's killing, the, killing Jesus and during this retreat we shared that verse John 8.37 so people don't even know this and they attend church they're an organization that's killing Jesus and yet they go there and they say they, they say Jesus Jesus I believe in Jesus and yet they're killing you know they're that's not what causes you to have faith in Jesus just because you force yourself or just because that's why people attend church they attend church so much and yet they get really bad sickness what happens to their children to their spouse bad things happen all of a sudden bad things happen to their spouse and they die yet people are saying things like that each of you Proverbs 27 verse 1 we don't know what calamity is coming one minute ahead of us that one heart one way is blocking that calamity that's having faith so we have to test whether you're in the faith or not please don't receive that calamity don't receive calamity those who ignore the word of God or mock the word of God what they do, when they do business 100% they'll fall into ruins when they make a little bit of money they'll fall into ruins as well after they make money and you think oh that's enough then God will destroy you so even don't go to other uh, go to your relative's house on your way there if you, mock the, if you ignore the word of God you'll end up dying if you scorn the word of God 100% even a country if they those who ignore the word of God those who scorn the word of God which country is living well they really won't live well at all it's, it happens according to the word of God so those who are wealthy they think they can live on their own God. But Jeremiah 11 10 go and tr pray in other religions see if it works he will block it also it won't work it's what God has said and yet we're saying the foolish things of dogs and demons uh, uh, p dogs and pigs Psalms 19 verse 7 what's it say two things it talks about when we do these two things we become qualified to be a pastor that's why simply put you're, so these are not words that you can know easily the person qualified to be a pastor God says the Bible 5,000 
verses of Bible you have to be able to repent it without seeing it you have repented it and be able to see it without even looking it up it's what God has determined 5,000 to 10,000 verses without seeing you be, have to be able to see it when you read if you do one verse uh, or 5,000 verses you see the verse uh, above it and below it that's 15,000 verses those who do that are the ones that is the true pastor shepherd that God has sent Jeremiah 3.15 they anoint themselves or they have their own PhD they're the fake pastor uh, pastor with demons it's what God has said Psalms 1, uh, 19 verse 7 not, not anybody can easily share a sermon on that so people they s so people are not proper human beings when they don't have you know, Christ in their heart when they're not right before the Lord if we're going to say something if we're going to describe what's after this and deep into this it's very incredible so that you will know what's in front and what's behind it the word of God if the word of God will do its miracles then at least 10 years Jesus day and night three and a half years for seven years in other words without without break Go, uh, without vacation didn't say go back to see your wife to your parents no he led the disciples for for a day and night for three and a half years so that's seven years worth and that's he. it barely was work past the park as long as I'm not Jesus as I'm not Jesus then I should do more than ten years if Jesus well, did it for three and a half years what's the first words where it says in Psalms 19.7 how do we know Jehovah if we don't know Jehovah 100% we're hellward bound John 17.3 we shared that this sermon this revival if you don't know Jehovah 100% you're hellward bound so Jehovah is what? we don't know and how do we know? what's the pathway for us to know Jehovah? so therefore share this kind of sermon the person that knows Jehovah God the true pastor that God has sent the person of prudence only they know this the person of prudence knows Jehovah. It's not what I'm saying. Jeremiah 9, 24. It's recorded there. So, if you go to the fake churches and you don't even know you're hellward bound, just because you're a pastor or theologian doesn't mean that they'll go to heaven. If they don't know Jehovah, 100% they're hellward bound. That's John 17, 3. If we have time, we can look up one by one. That would be good. However, each of you, the true pastor that God has sent you you receive salvation when you, you and receive all the blessings when you listen to the message that has the wisdom that God has sent that God has given we're here to receive that blessing it's the word of God has said this each of you when it says Jehovah here it's the true God here it's true God the true God only the person of prudence knows this that's why in John 17.3 the true God if you don't know the true God if you don't know Jesus Christ then you'll be hellward bound John 17 3 it's recorded there and yet there's nobody who's teaching about the true God they have to know it to be able to teach it so, so you uh, go to different churches even though you're going to different churches and you say there are theologians pastors elders deacons you meet these they say they do good works but behind it they get insulted things don't work out for their children that's how they end so when you see that and you say oh they're, they, they're so noble because they did philanthropy are you then you're crazy then people without money then they, that means they're not good people who's the one that's really a good person for, the person that is with Jehovah is the person that's truly a good person that's philanthropic the person that God it, it, the person that is with the true God he who kills us and makes us alive he's he, the one that gives us money and takes it away he's the one that gives us sickness and heals us he takes us to the to trash and also exalts us to the highest place according to so from trash he set us high above all the all the highest places 1 Samuel 2, 5 through 10, Jehovah, He does it all. Whether we have, are able to bear children or not, Jehovah, He does it all. Those who ignore the word of God, their children will end. There, there's no more descendants. Jehovah, He won't give them any more descendants. Their business won't do well. The business, it worked, you may say, it does well. Proverbs 16, 4, the wicked person for making money, for wickedness, to make them, God uses them to figure things out why the righteous they don't have time 
to do God. They they're busy doing God's mystery. They use this, they use the wicked to make make them you know discover things and do works so that and then their children to the third and fourth generation will will die off and that wealth will be stored for the righteous Ecclesiastes 2.26 um, if you use as the best for wickedness you made a little bit of money and got uh, a little bit of fame you call that success Proverbs 16.4 even God will use even the wicked for its purpose that's not success when you have a little have a little bit of worldly success don't be mistaken that that's the true blessing from God it's not Jehovah what does he say to us Jehovah that after that it's what that's strange the law does it mean that there's one law there's, the, there's the, the law of Jehovah there must be other laws if you don't even know, know that then you, how can you say you live a life of faith or you're in the ministry if you don't even know this each, you and me this incredible mystery without being a person of prudence you wouldn't know this a person of deep understanding you wouldn't know this that's why each of you if you're not a person of prudence how would you know this so, so you have to listen to the sermon of the prudent and uh, with deep understanding that's how you can go to heaven that's Proverbs 13:20. Uh, without being a person of prudence Psalms 49 verse 3 the sermon that leads to heaven they're not able to sh uh, sh share a sermon that leads to heaven it's what God has said a person of prudence in a word what do they say no matter what sermon no matter what sermon is they're able to preach on it without seeing the Bible for one year or ten years they're, that they're able to share the sermon on it only that person is the person of prudence that God has given the prudence to please come to your senses please the law of Jehovah this, is it 99% or is it it's perfect this law the, only the law of Jehovah enables us you and me to be a proper human being and saves our spirits if it's not saving spirits and yet how they can they say that they're a pastor why are they going around making lies what, how are they going to make their children to the third and fourth generation what's it saying here only the law of Jehovah will save and revive our spirit and our body and our and our mind uh, our our mind and our spirit so many people claim to be such PhDs and academics and theologians what's good what good is it if they have demon inside what good is it if they're just a master or a guru from a worldly sense it's very unfortunate the, your mind and your spirit who does it save and revive through the law uh, through the law saves my mind and my spirit my spirit and my mind Ephesians 2 1 the sins of your ancestors who, nobody knows about the sins of their ancestors uh, your own sins because of that you think you're alive but you're dead spiritually you're dead not that you're about to die or almost died Ephesians 2 1 we're dead in our spirit so what's alive? the demon's alive the, the demon that's like dogs and pigs is alive in, that's Second Peter 2.22 so th those who call them the pastors, elders, deacons they have not gone into Christ they are outside of Christ they are Gentiles and they are dead spiritually dead because of their sins of their ancestors and their own sins they are dead like demons and, and demons and they are like dogs and pigs and they just because they give service doesn't mean God accepts it no the demon accepts it do, do, do they, does God accept their praise no the, the demon accepts their praise it's what's recorded earlier and yet have you not been to places like that and done things like that quite pitiful so therefore and you said there wasn't a church so you went to the wrong place no matter how hungry you are you can't go eat at the pigsty you'll, you'll get sick you'll get infested and sick you can't that doesn't make sense what's God telling us here did you help revive souls and have you become a proper human being you have to revive the spirit and the mind to be a proper human being that's what God has said you have to revive the spirit and the mind Psalms 19 verse 7 read that one more time uh, saying incredible things here each of you why is it that you can, don't have healing of disease you can't have healing of disease God says th why is it that you're not able to receive the blessings in wealth that God says he'll give to us that your children to a thousand generation God says he will enable us to live uh, and our children to live with praise but why is it it isn't happening for you because we have made it so it won't work we're ruining our own children yet we don't realize this how can we call ourselves a proper human being each of you if you're 
which parent, uh, which animal eats its own child? I haven't heard it, but alligator, when it's hungry, it will eat its child, but why are we doing the deeds worse than an alligator? And we're so brazen and arrogant, conceited. Things won't work out for us or for our descendants. Because of who? Because of me. Because of each one of us. And yet we don't even realize that it's because of each one of us. How are we different than the dogs and pigs that we have in our household? Ecclesiastes 9.3, God is asking us. Do you know? Do you know the dog and the pig that's in your household? They all have an IQ and they all have a mind. God has taught us this. He's teaching us this. We just... We just have the mind, but not the spirit. That's why you don't receive blessings and things aren't working well for you. And that's why you don't have happiness. You're not able to go to heaven. So, no matter how much time passes, things don't work out for you. That's why God is telling us, here, the law of Jehovah. You're not able to know this. It's, it's complete. It's perfect. What's perfect in this world? If this container is all done then is it over? Is it done here? The worldly things, uh, all the perfection is gone. It's uh, over. But God's perfection, it's, limit, uh, it's limitless. It's infinite. Psalms 119 verse 96. So that's why each of you, infinite and limitless, so that you can understand that you and your descendants can be made alive, that you can receive blessings to do this, to be enable this. We have to be made alive. We have to help save our descendants to do that. We have come to the point where it's limitless. God's blessings is limitless. But this, the way for us to know this, when we have prudence, minimum, if you have 5,000 to 10,000 verses, if you do 5,000, 10,000 verses, what chapter, what verse, automatically the address comes out. Some people, once in a while, they say, I don't do this. But the Word of God that they have seen a lot, then uh, from their mouth, the Bible verses quotes come out, but the rest doesn't. What comes out, is real but what doesn't what you can't quote is not real Proverbs 8 11 12 you have to be able to know the address of the Bible verses but if you don't that's beautiful so that therefore each of you it doesn't work if you're giving worship service to demons you receive more calamities you're killing your descendants why go around doing that do you have extra time or do you have much extra money that you give tithe to no there or are you planning for death you have God has to receive all of that Receiving God receiving it, it's here. We have to help save souls. We have to revive our spirit. How do we revive our spirit? Through the law of Jehovah. So Jehovah, without the person of prudence, they won't know Jehovah. Jesus, to teach that, he te taught the disciples for three and a half years, day and night, equivalent to seven years. I'm not more noble than Jesus that I could do that, no. You have to listen to, therefore, the the person of prudence, the pastor, words of the pastor of prudence. It's God's command. Otherwise, we'll be hellward bound. We'll be receive curses. Just because you attend church doesn't mean this happens. A church, that's why the head of the church is Christ, the mystery of Christ, the mystery of God, forced up repentance. Outside of that, that's all Gentiles and demons accept that. So it says that here, to know Jehovah, only the person of prudence knows it. Well, the person of prudence knows this. God's command is that you should hear the words, uh, uh, the sermon of the prudent. Then you should obey to that. You obey that, that command. Then Jehovah and the law. What is the law? Romans three twenty. According to that, it's realizing our sins. It's realizing our sins. Just because uh, we can't just know to that point of realizing our sins. The law that helps us realize our sins is Jesus. So those with demon inside, they say in the Old Testament they don't have. There's no Jesus. Only in the New Testament, that's hundred percent. They're demonic. When you have demon inside, you see things backwards and you can't see things. The law is Jesus. So if you don't even know that, and you say you go to heaven, those kind of people, those, they're sick. Their body that get sicker and sicker. That those who are sick, they get sicker and sicker. If you do did this when they did bad words, that. Do not repent where we were fakes and you've scorned the word of God, you'll get even sicker and sicker. If you don't quickly repent, not only will others, not only will they get sick, it goes down to their descendants. First Peter 1.18. So if you go to a household like that, no matter uh, you know how they die, they die a pitiful death and they'll be hellward bound. Their children will uh, be, be falling into ruins in a pitiful way. Why would the children not listen? Because you have not o obeyed the word of God. Your children are not your children. They're children of God. Your children. 
as much as you did as much as you tormented God your children will torment you so who must repent then if I quickly repent then it will be resolved then my children will be made alive I'll be made alive I'll be revived this is God's mystery this is God's mystery that's quickly helps it revive our children save our children that's God's mystery why do we not want to do God's mystery and that you're killing your children uh, you know if you're putting nails on their children's head and then yet you're leaving them if you do that if you don't love your neighbors then you'll be outward bound as well that's commands that's commandments each of you so, Psalms 1916 that is his commandments Proverbs sorry not Psalms Proverbs 1916 Proverbs 19 through the law we realize our sins if we're able to do that after we realize our sins God's mystery Christ this mystery going before Christ coming before Christ after we realize our sins not you and me but after we, to those who have realized their sins who are the ones that have realized their sins Jesus helps us realize our sins Jesus leads us before Christ leads us to Christ if you don't even know this and you attend church and we, don't, we know so little it's like putting the t-shirts on on top of a dress shirt you're, it's, all the sequence is wrong and yet you say you live a life of faith you're out of your mind not living a life of faith and, you, when you use, and yet you expect, to, you expect to do well how can you do well if you ignore the word of God you don't obey it how can you expect to do well in the garden of Eden they obeyed and they were chased out no let's come to our senses here they didn't obey each of you you and me when we when we revive our spirit and our our heart and our mind it's not me but the Holy Spirit uh, when we're revived we receive the Holy Spirit as a gift we receive it not on our own but through a gift as a gift Ephesians 1.13 let's look that up so therefore that's why God's Spirit Galatians 5.22 is love this love is, uh, is a, all sorts of things going well we receive wealth as a blessing all things going well for us having he healing of disease demons departing the children becoming children who honor their parents everybody you'll do well we're here to receive that blessings all everyone doing well we have to revive our spirit our soul our spirit our soul uh, revives who saves who restores who the, the law is, is the law of the Lord a law of Jehovah so simply it's realizing our sins in the best possible way best that's it says Jehovah you have to have more than 5,000 pastor we're not able to do 5,000 verses and know it when you rear uh, when you grow uh, sprouts you just put water then it grows but if you put uh, a dirty water or rotten water it doesn't work pretty soon it'll rot as well the beans will rot as well it has to be water but but it has to be choice H2O that we pour on to the beans that, and then it will automatically grow then the, uh, the beans will grow the sprout it'll sprout if you have some fertilizer but it will grow a little bit better but if it's uh, spoiled then, then it will rot the word of God it has to be the right words for us to change our faith through God's love that it'll happen, it'll happen so we have to let it happen according to our wishes according to God's words if it's clean if it's the right word of God Ephesians 5.26 I shared that a lot you're not able to understand it we have to repent with water with so with each of you if you repent it through the mystery of Christ the blood through God's mystery when you do force to repentance you become clean but after that you're, you, why do you become dirty and can't stay clean but after that you have to maintain being clean by having the word put in if, it's a big bowl but if you look inside there's one rice uh, one rice grain are you going to be strong and have strength there has to be numbers there can't just be one rice grain so that's why only the person of prudence is a person that God sends because you have to have the number of the words you have the number of rice grains in other words this inadequate servant what you're eating here I shared one word it says Je Jehovah it's a Jehovah where more than 5,000 verses have been repented that's how we can be made alive when we eat this you say amen when we eat this well, it's incredible it's surprising when you eat this you'll have healing of disease you'll receive wealth as a blessings you and your household all, all the demons will depart from you're here and yet the demons in your, in your household will depart it'll take the disease and calamities with it and depart what a great promise this is 
helping revive our spirit and our soul is the law of Jehovah. This, our spirit. There's the evil spirit and holy spirit. There's two types. This, only the spirit that God has given as a gift comes goes into our heart. Ephesians 1.13. That's why I said to post it up in your house. In a church. If you want to, through God's mystery, go to heaven. And the blessings of wealth and going to heaven. The demons in your household that's tormenting your household. And, and all, making it all depart with its curses and calamities and sickness and disease. Then put, post up Ephesians 1.13. Because that is one heart, one way. That's why I said to post it up. Ephesians 1.13. I don't know how many people have posted it up. I hope you have posted up one heart, one way. Each of you. The, the meaning right now. My spirit being made alive right now. That's the priority. When my spirit is alive. It's made alive through God's spirit. That the Holy Spirit. Which God's spirit. Which is Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1.13. In four step repentance. In and in there you have faith and you receive the Holy Spirit and you then that, to that point that's love when you have that love then all sorts of problems get resolved you surely go to heaven your the children become children who are godly children your family is content and happy your business does well and prospers through this blessing we have to receive this blessings today your family is it separated is it Jehovah he will follow you when you do one heart one way he'll follow you He'll help you, but he doesn't tor he doesn't torment you. He takes away all the torment and changes everything into a blessings. That's why you came here. What religion? What religion? What philosophy? Even though you have all the books volume in the world, there's no way, according to to help save a spirit like God's word does. No matter you take all the books of this world, no matter how much you try, you, you cannot be, you cannot restore your soul and revive your soul. What are you going to do with that trash? If you have time, extra time, you can use it for evangelistic purposes. There's no other place for you to use that. So here today, Ephesians 1:13, this inadequate servant, what must I share with you that you can go the path where things will work out well? I said from 15, 20 years ago to put it, post it on your wall and if you have written one heart one way on the wall as well that everything will go well surely you'll do well you will do well you will prosper you'll do even better surely you'll do well you'll change your fate you'll change your destiny receive blessings help save your descendants let's be contributors to our society and help assist in world peace let's fulfill all of that this is the blessings if we have time I can use the Korean, uh, little te not drum, but tambourine, the Korean tambourine. How great this is. Each of you, up until just now, were you harlot Rahab? Don't worry. We can make a gospel song. No worries, no anxieties, Rahab. Rahab's a harlot she was selling her body and she was selling alcohol she would sell anything why? because of money she needed money Jesus on the right hand side the thief on the right hand side of Jesus then do not worry and, so, and, and still don't worry are you a burglar? are you a thief? today God's mystery if we just do that your spirit will be revived when your spirit is made alive you have no past you'll have a new beginning your children, no matter where they are, that you'll have a new beginning. For everybody, it will work out. For everybody, it will work out. Are, are your children causing you heartaches? Up until now, did they come? As did they come yesterday for vacation and really got you upset? Good. If you're, did they upset you? Well, you 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 are not right anyway. So no wonder it was upset. We just have to do four step repentance. We just have Thanksgiving to give. Just really made my self all upset and that child comes and makes it upset and more and upset and when you repent that as your own sin then you can make that right right you can make it right set no matter what sin we cannot hate it first john chapter 3 verse 15 that's committing murder when we hate somebody, let's read with one voice, Ephesians 1.13. In him you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise. Amen. Now, the first words, it says, in him. So, how do we know where in him is when we read above? So, in, in Christ. 
uh, so in Christ it's God's mystery and the person only the person that have that have gone into the mystery of Christ when they hear these words the blessings of salvation when they receive the word of everlasting life in Christ we have to listen to these words in Christ for us to receive faith as a gift we receive faith as a gift after we receive faith as a gift when you continue to do God's mystery for our repentance that person they receive baptism they receive the Holy Spirit and receive uh, they are baptized and receive the Holy Spirit as a gift that's in your heart when the Holy Spirit of God comes inside you when the Holy Spirit of God comes inside you cast out all demons you have all the demons and uh, the sickness and curses get departed and your children become children who honor their parents and will end up living a very life full of contentment we will end up receiving all that blessing that Matthew 12 28 that is Matthew 12 28 though Holy Spirit Second Corinthians one twenty two. God gives it to us in our heart as a sign not to our head knowledge when the Holy Spirit comes and our spirit is made alive the head knowledge in our head uh, uh, tra casts out all the demons that's in the head knowledge what you've learned with your head knowledge that has demon attached to it the Holy Spirit comes and casts it all out so the head knowledge it becomes love that your mind your head knowledge is ruled then is directed by the Holy Spirit and will have love as well do you say this is how you should use it you, when you use that's when your spirit and your mind is revived how through the law of Jehovah so when your spirit is revived when the Holy Spirit has come to your heart you cast out Galatians 5.22 then love comes forth you cast out the demons with your Holy Spirit if this is the love that God accepts receives Proverbs 8.21 you receive this blessing here today at churches why is it that things aren't working out for you because you're not going the path where things are working out if you go the path where things are working out it will work out then it will be fine but let's read with one voice but I see it from here I, I hear all the pages flipping that's pages flipping, not the Bible, not the Holy Spirit, not the Bible. In the, after we receive the Holy Spirit, when we eat the Word of God as our nourishment, only that, that's, that's when it's the Word of God. Let's read with one voice. In Him, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Amen. When you receive the Holy Spirit and you and you have wealth overflowing, Deuteronomy 30 verse 15, that's going to heaven, because going to heaven and wealth is together. So the reason we come to church, resolving all sorts of problems, getting that resolved, and surely going to heaven and surely on the you know, the pathway to heaven, and at the same time having demons depart and your children be blessed, you are blessed, you receiving all the blessings of casting out the demons and receiving all the blessings for you and your descendants and wealth and um, do you say Amen that's receiving that blessing this is so great that's why each of you how blessed are you what you listen become yours what you have seen what you see become yours what you step on where you step on becomes yours Je Genesis 12 13 14 so it's incredible now Let's read with one voice. Deuteronomy 30 verse 15. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity and death and adversity. Amen. Amen. Today, before he has set before us life, everlasting life and prosperity. They're not separate. They're one. Those two are from today on you'll all do well. You and your descendants, that will happen according to your wishes. Let's just save our spirits, revive our spirit, then everything will work out well. We're here to receive that blessing. That we have to surely go to heaven. And according to our wishes, we have to receive all the blessings. The demons and curses and calamities that's tormenting my family and my descendants has to depart. To receive this blessing, that is what? That is one heart, one way we have just understood and read one heart one way one heart one way we have to help revive our spirits that's the law of Jehovah 
If you don't know Jehovah, the person that without if you're not the person of prudence, you don't know Jehovah. It's not what I'm saying. It's Jeremiah nine twenty four. So if you want to know Jesus Christ, that's Proverbs nine ten. Only the person of prudence knows this. Without being a person of prudence, without one heart, one way, in fearing the Lord, not, you don't know anything. Nothing will work out well. In a word, Colossians chapter two verse eight. God's mystery, four step repentance. The church without that. They're, they're sharing the fake sermon that leads the souls to hell Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 it's the word of God saying this test whether you're in the faith or not that's how you should live surely be even more blessed God's words it will happen it will be fulfilled exactly according to it those without strength God will give strength to the curses and calamities please let it depart the demons with its de uh, sickness let it depart and let them receive wealth as a blessing it's infinite limitless that and help them to go to heaven let us pray my father these according to these words I have faith that miracles will happen and father God help us to only live in Christ and help us to receive the Holy Spirit as a gift father God today the heart of loving God Matthew chapter 5 Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 excuse Matthew 6 24 you cannot put our heart in two places, but only with one heart, one way will it work. So this hour, us, through our offering, we give our heart to you, Lord God. Father, you said that what you give to those whom you love, this incredible everlasting life and blessings on this land, help them to all receive this and let their descendants be even more blessed. Those who give in tithe, Father God, the Lord, to the temple of the Lord where you are there forever where you let them receive the blessings of heaven opening up for them let them receive all the blessings in the name of Jesus I pray Amen in thanksgiving I pray Amen